The government has announced the rollout of two new types of coronavirus test, one of which can deliver a result in as little as an hour. Well, this is a big step forward in terms of how quickly we're going to be able to get tests turned around and also how widespread we can make tests. Most coronavirus tests currently in use in the UK require the sample to be sent away to a lab to be processed, meaning for most of the UK's tests, results are not returned for at least 24 hours. The new Oxford-developed test can detect COVID-19 on site without the need to send the sample away, dramatically reducing the time it takes to provide a result to between 60 and 90 minutes. As well as being much faster, both the tests are also able to be administered by people without medical training, opening the door for them to be rolled out in non-clinical settings, such as schools and airports. These technologies which deliver these rapid turnaround tests will mean that we can expand testing uh, capacity uh, further uh, and into settings where, for instance, in, in schools we have a, currently we have survey testing, so we have some testing, that would be able to be expanded. But also looking at, uh, looking across the community where we want to test a, uh, people who don't have symptoms to find out where the virus is. 450,000 of the new high-speed tests are set to be made available to hospitals and care homes from next week, with the Department of Health saying millions more of the tests are to be rolled out later in the year. The government has also announced that 5,000 DNA nudge testing machines are to be deployed to UK hospitals. The machines test DNA for coronavirus and can return a result in 90 minutes without the need for a lab. These two new methods are hoped to bolster testing numbers ahead of the winter period when the NHS is likely to come under further pressure from seasonal illnesses. As well as COVID-19, the new tests will be able to pick up the presence of flu and other respiratory illnesses, helping people to take the appropriate action based on the result. However, there is currently no publicly available data on the reliability of the tests, which has led some scientists to raise concerns about assessing their accuracy. So we don't know whether or not they are going to perform at the same level as our, our current testing schedule. And it's also not clear exactly what uh, laboratory setups are needed for both of the tests. Hopefully they can be um, put into care homes and work very easily. Um, but we need to see more information about these tests uh, before we're actually fully informed.